Last evening was absolutely insane. Imagine being at these ancient ruins, ancient temples, and all of a sudden the weather goes absolutely nuts. Thunderstorm, rainstorm, lightning, and you're all freaking alone at these ruins. Man, literally, like for the first time in my life, I was actually really scared. I basically shat my pants. I did that, trust me. Wow, what an experience, but honestly, I will never ever forget that. So, it's day five, I guess, back in, in Bangkok, and uh, the thing is that Bangkok does not really have much to offer. Uh, majority of the people who come, to Tha like, who come to Thailand and stay in Bangkok for a long time, they come here for the sex industry. Like, it's normally white men over 60 or 70 years old who just come here uh, for the girls, for the women. But if you're not here for that, then Bangkok does not really have much to offer apart from the food and the temples. So what I ended up doing was that initially I was planning to stay here for like one whole week. But I'm pretty much done with Bangkok. So I just booked my flight to Phuket tonight. So I'll be traveling to Phuket. Um, right now it's 3 p.m. I just woke up after like an hour ago and now I'm just going to have some breakfast. Late breakfast, which is actually lunch. Um, and then I head back to my hostel, um, check out and then, you know, head straight to the airport and get to Phuket because I'm really looking forward to that now. Here we are, day six in Thailand and I finally landed here in Phuket. I actually landed here last night and I reached my hotel room at around 1 a.m. or 1 at, the, 1 at like after midnight. I was so freaking tired, I just couldn't vlog and I woke up today with pain in my body, like muscle ache um, and also had a few loose motions. I wasn't feeling good at all, man. So I knew that one day I will get like a gastroenteritis here on my trip. So I think it, all, it has already started. Um, but I just um, took a few tablets, stayed in my room till 3 p.m. And now I'm finally outside. Gonna grab a bite and then head straight to Patong Beach. I'm actually quite surprised to see that there is literally halal food everywhere here in Phuket. Um, I was struggling to find halal food in Bangkok. Uh, not, ma not, not many places had halal food, but here in Phuket, man, halal food is literally everywhere on the streets. Wherever you walk, you'll find a halal restaurant. That's crazy. Very good for me. Done having food, even though I was actually planning to, you know, take it slow and let my tummy rest a little bit and just fast and just have some bananas and fruits. Uh, I got so hungry and I was actually feeling quite weak as well that I just had to get myself some food. I don't know how the audio is going to be on this video because it's actually quite a lot of wind here uh, but now I just hope that I had food and now that I don't get diarrhea while I'm at the Patong Beach man fingers crossed mm. I don't really understand what the hype is all about I mean it's a decent nice clean beach but I have been to better beaches to be very honest like in Tanzania in Zanzibar the beaches were absolutely stunning but this one is good but it's nothing spectacular I'm not really surprised uh, maybe I had my hopes too high, I guess. But anyway, I will not be going into the water today or like um, getting myself a nice tan, even though I'm already tan, uh, because I'm not really feeling the vibes for it. God. Uh, but maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow when I'm feeling a little bit better, then I'll start doing like more of the activities here in Phuket because I'm going to be here for 12 days, man. So I've got, a, I've got plenty of time. How much jet ski? One person. Huh? One person. Give me good price, brother. Give me good price. What? Vlog, YouTube. No, no. Why? Okay, you don't want? No one. YouTube, people come to you. No. No? No. Okay, fine. I don't like you. Go. I don't like you either. Yeah, go. Yeah, you go. You go. You go. What the fuck? <laughs> crazy, man. You crazy. <laughs> this beach is so freaking massive. Like, you can keep walking for like one hour and just one stop. It starts basically from all the way over there. I think this would easily be around like more than one kilometer probably but um, I've been walking here it's 5 p.m. now and I can't be like bothered to uh, walk all the way down there so I'm gonna head back uh, because the body pain the muscle ache is starting to come back again man honestly this is not good this is not good I'm afraid it might be malaria malaria, malaria. But I think I need to um, buy um, anti-mosquito cream, like mosquito repellent. Going back to my room now, I have to buy this mosquito repellent. Man, I'm so afraid of malaria. 